Hello everybody, this is the very first video check-in from Baggage Claim or Authentic Travelers or whatever the hell you're here for. Branding consistency is overrated and not totally my thing. Anyway, my name is Will if you enjoy travel, specifically travel that helps you grow as a person, become more curious and empathetic and compassionate, you're in the right place. Cool. So this is our very first update. Um, this is going to replace what was the Sunday Stories thing. Uh, Sunday Stories was incredible. The problem with, with it is they were just a pain in the ass to make these really intense animated videos. Um, but what I really liked about it is it gave our community this sort of thing to rally around, this central sort of anchor every Sunday. So we're going to replace that with this much more sustainable way to go about that. If you have questions, if you have anything you want included in next week's video, uh, post it whatever if you're on facebook youtube post it in the appropriate place and we'll get that done but i have five updates for us in our first ever video check-in i'm excited to get through those okay so the first one is i mentioned to everybody i'd slowed down recruitment for the authentic travelers um facebook group because as we approached a thousand people it just felt like we weren't um, we didn't quite have the same magic we did when it was 100, 200, 300 folks. Um, and so I slowed that down to sort of bring us back together as a community. And I've started to see that work, right? People were being really, maybe a little confrontational, maybe weren't giving people the benefit of the doubt there for a little while. I'm starting to see that flip. People are being supportive. People are asking questions and people are really, really answering those questions with thoughtfulness and, and uh, utility. And I, I think that's awesome. So I'm not going to start proactively recruiting, but if you have people you want invited into the community, um, family, friends, folks you think would be a really good fit, recruit them in. I'll see that you recruited them and, and they'll, they'll be more than welcome to join. Okay. So that's update one. Update two. I want to announce this week's guest for baggage claim for the baggage claim interview segments. It is Jacqueline Trumbull. Jackie was a contestant on 2018 season of The Bachelor. She's one of those rare people who basically won the game by getting The Bachelor to fall in love with her. And then she just quit uh, with like two or three weeks left, left to go. Her job called her back and she just was like, I'm out. Uh, that was hilarious, and Jacqueline's awesome. And she also spent her 18th year in Slovakia way, way before The Bachelor, and uh, just alone in Slovakia. So we spend most of the episode discussing that. I think you'll really enjoy it. The conversation gets deep and pretty metaphysical and, and fascinating, and hopefully, hopefully enjoy it. So that's coming out on Thursday. Okay, cool. Next thing, I published two articles last week both of which I hope you find interesting. The first one seems a little light and sort of silly at, at face value, but I actually think it's kind of important, is that I think it's kind of crass to put your, the number of countries you've been to in your Instagram profile, in your clubhouse, you know, little profile section, Twitter, et cetera. Um, and I write more about why, and I, th I would like for you to check it out. So the link to that's below. Give that a read. So second article I wrote was, it came out of my very first interview with Bridget Phetasy. Um, and then I mid last week had a, what will ultimately be like the fourth or fifth interview with a man named Alia Rizwi. Uh, he is a fascinating human being. He uh, emigrated to Canada at like 24 years old after spending most of his young life in a combination of Pakistan, Libya, and Saudi Arabia and has written a book called The Secular, or has a podcast called The Secular Jihadist and has a book called The Atheist Muslim. So his shtick is probably fairly clear to you. Um, but those two conversations together sort of got me thinking about belief and religion and sort of the way we tell ourselves stories to make ourselves feel better. Um, I think there's a lot to say on that topic. I started saying some of it uh, that link is below as well. Okay, speaking of interviews, this is a small little thing, but I, I think it's important. Um, most people I know who run podcasts don't actually edit the interviews that they do, 
what they do is they hire somebody, they, they find somebody who knows how GarageBand works, send it off to that person, that person does the actual chopping and the editing. Uh, I don't, I do it all myself. And one thing that I found is that I develop a much more intimate relationship with my guest actually after they've left the show because I go through and cut the likes and the ums and the, like, the little silly things. You get a real sense of how a person communicates when you're looking for that and trying to figure out how to sort of streamline a conversation. And so I found that I've had a lot, a lot of thoughts about the way a dialogue is gone after that dialogue, just from having edited the entire conversation and spent a lot of time I basically like trying to understand the way that person's brain works, as it, which I found to be fascinating. I'm definitely going to write an article about that this week, but I'm also, I, I imagine that a lot of articles are going to come out um, just about things I picked up in the editing process from, uh, from particular guests, things I maybe wish I said, things I wish I perseverated on a little more, or things I wish I let go. And so I'll, I'll write about all that in the very near future. It's just a thing to be aware of. Okay, final, final update here. I've talked a lot about these community Wikipedia centers, uh, sort of like resources for every country in the world. And I had spent a lot of time talking about Colombia and Spain as the first two we're going to go to. Uh, Colombia is in the middle of fairly intense political turmoil. It's just not the right time for Colombia. So we're going to uh, sub in Peru. We have a lot of people in our community who are Peruvians or have a lot of knowledge about Peru, live in Peru, etc. Um, so we're going to lean into those people. If you are one of them, and maybe I don't know that, let me know. I, I need your feedback. I need your help. I need you helping me lead this lead this coalition to pilot. It's very, very important. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, there's a video below that will go into the entire project. So really hope to have you there. Okay, that's it, guys. Thank you so much. Look out on Tuesday for the most recent episode of Baggage Claim, Thursday for the Jacqueline Trumbull interview, and this time next week, for the next video check-in. Links to everything I mentioned is all in the description on YouTube or Facebook below. Thanks, bye.